what a what a performance, what a win. Uh, we've done this a couple times, where we don't know if we saw that one coming, uh, but uh, I couldn't be more proud of the guys. We talked about it in the locker room after the Texas loss of of um, rising up and having resolve, and, and there's so much still in front of us to play for, and we need to worry about us, not about anybody else, and control what we can control, uh, and that's our preparation and ultimately our play. And uh, this is a um, great win because I know how hard it is to win here, uh, and everything that I, I've got so much respect for Dave Aranda. He's one of my favorite coaches. Uh, he does things the right way. Um, we're trying to emulate a lot of the things, honestly, that they do. And we talked all week long. This game was going to be about possessions, about possessing the football, about time of possession, about winning on third down, about getting off the field on third or fourth down on defense. And uh, I told the guys, we may only have three possessions in the first half. And I was pretty dang close on it. Uh, but uh, that's the type of game it was. And uh, it was a complete game for us. Offense played really well. Uh, we, we won the battle up front. Defense played really well. Uh, we were able to get off the field even though they marched it some. And then special teams. Uh, Ty was, was dynamite again, uh, punting the ball, kicking the ball. Uh, and it was a complete, uh, complete team win. Uh, I thought it was a great plan by Coach Klanderman and uh, the defensive staff. We did a lot of things different today that uh, we haven't done this year, and it's a credit to those players for buying into some of the different things that we were going to do. We had Khalid at the line of scrimmage an awful lot, uh, trying to bring him, blitz him, and, and you know replace him, and, and did some a lot of different things um, utilizing him. Uh, it was fun to have a healthy Daniel Green uh, out there running around, uh, but uh, I just – we did. We we stayed the course and we stayed in the fight even when it wasn't great, especially that first drive. And Kobe makes the big pick. How good was he was really good, and uh, um, he's been preparing uh, each week the last few weeks. And um, when Adrian went down, and I don't know how severe it is. I don't believe it was, but I don't believe he was going to be a hundred percent. Colin and I, I said this isn't a helmet popping off. We're rolling, and and. Um, you know, I looked at Will and I said, well, Will, you got it. And, um, you know, Will remembers being here before. And so I know how important this one was to Will to play well. And um, he played really well, and we blocked exceptionally well for him. And, man, we made some plays. Ben Sennett made some plays. Cade made some plays. We made a lot of plays. Yeah. Yeah, it was because they weren't going to give you the shot plays very often. That's not the design of this defense. Uh, and they brought a lot of pressure. And, and I think the first half we caught them in some pressures because we flipped the ball out to Deuce and they didn't have uh, anybody on Deuce. Uh, the one touchdown uh, for sure was like that. Um, and uh, we just were able to keep the, you know, what were we, 8 of 13 on third down and 1 of 2 on fourth down. And I don't remember the distance of the fourth down, but. Uh, the fact that uh, we were able to sustain drives and hold the football for 37 plus minutes, and then in the red zone, I, I, I knew we had to be good, um, and we were five for five there with four touchdowns, and um, and Ty banged the other one through. We think he would have been. Um, we were trying to keep him warm um, in in hopes that he could come back if we needed him to, but I don't think he would have been 100 percent. Yeah, they, they did, and we've emphasized that all this week because they're a team that's going to go for it on third and fourth down. And, you know, a couple of them stick out at me. I think it was the first drive of the second half. It was fourth and 10 or something around midfield, and we brought pressure, and they picked it up. And Josh Hayes makes a great play uh, to, to knock the ball away on a, on a uh, deep crossing pattern. And then uh, the other one was the fourth and four in their own territory when they had to try to make a play. I think it was 24 to three. And uh, they ran the crossing route, and, and Josh tackles a kid for a you know, three-yard gain on fourth and four to get us another short field. But we had to win on third and fourth down um, to, you know, against this great offense. You saw Kobe come out of the game. Have you had a chance to see anything? Yeah. Um, I, I won't speculate until I, until I get the information for sure on Monday. I don't think it probably looks good. 
good for it on fourth down, deep inside their own territory, just obviously how important of a stop. Well, um, it was big, but um, you know we were up twenty-four to three at that time, and I, I think it it um, uh, might have ended some hope as far as us doing something with that and getting it into the end zone too. But they they had to. I, I mean, that's part of that we talk about all the time of there's only so many possessions left in the game. And I don't know, guys, I think it was two possessions in the first quarter. And then the, our third possession, when we took it and scored, we had it for another five minutes or something. I mean, it, it was uh, the game was going fast. And it was one of those games that uh, the first half went really, really fast. It seemed like Kobe's pick really oh, changed yeah. the momentum because they were driving. It, it, they really no, it, it really did because I thought they had a great drive against us and, and caught us in a few things um, after we had a really good drive and, and don't capitalize on it. And we were just out of Ty's field goal range, and I didn't want to punt it there. Um, and then uh, they drive it, and um, we talked about it. We had to be able to get a strip, and we had to be able to get a tip or an overthrow. And we got a tip and, and made a big play. And uh, and then, uh, we, yeah, how about that then? then we, even if it was only five minutes, we took it 97 yards um, to score after that. We called it. I mean, we were trying to go a little bit faster today, especially in that first half, trying to keep those play counts up. I don't know how many plays did we run today. 79, that's a lot of plays for us to run 79 plays. And we were trying to um, maybe catch them a little bit. Uh, and we were able to rush the football uh, fairly well, 184 yards. Uh, but that was the design, try to go a little bit faster. No matter who was going to play quarterback, we were going to try to go a little bit faster tonight. Yeah, they all they all played well. I have to watch the film. I was pleased with uh, with Duke, and uh, you know we played Austin and Nick and and Daniel Green's finally getting healthy. So I, I thought they played. I mean, when you hold them to three points, everybody on defense was a big contributor. That uh, was fun to fun to watch. Um, kid from my hometown, that uh, uh, he's getting better, and I, and I see him. Gaining confidence as the season has gone on. Uh, I saw a, a, a young, inexperienced player the first three or four weeks of the season all of a sudden start to gain confidence probably around the Oklahoma game when we start throwing him some seam balls and stuff. And then it's just continued to carry over. He's uh, a really good athlete, uh, and he attacks the football. Uh, but uh, it's fun to watch him play with that kind of confidence because he's, uh, he's a terrific, talented kid that uh, uh, I think sometimes doesn't even know how good he is. Last year in fall camp, and then he he got dinged up in fall camp, but uh, we couldn't cover him with uh, you know Reggie and and some of those guys last year, um, Russ that he was a matchup problem for us, and he got nicked up, but uh, um, and and he was slowed a little bit by that injury throughout the season, but this year he's been relatively healthy, uh, and uh, he's a, he's a big target that can really run. I know you have a lot of confidence, in Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a conversation that we had again this week, and we'll and we told him we're going to have it one every week, and uh, see where we're at in the race. You know that plays into it some, um, and I don't I don't know what happened. Don't care what happened. Can I at least enjoy this, Fitz? You don't have to tell me anything right now. So keep your mouth shut, Fitz. Okay. So, um, <laughs> but it's something we're going to talk about uh, each week, and. Um, uh, Will's in a good place right now. Adrian's in a good place right now. And you know what? It's fun to go on the road and win. Is this our, our third road win in conference? That's hard to do. And uh, it's fun to do it. And we've had, you know, a bunch of people be contributors in it uh, in those wins. One more, Tom Do you have an update on Echo or Josh? Uh, not on Echo or Josh. I didn't think they were significant, but I, I, I'm not quite sure. Um, and then I, I do want to say a shout out to DJ Giddens. He came in and ran the ball really, really hard with authority. Uh, he got one of our uh, Hammer Awards in there. So proud of DJ for coming in and, and uh, pounding the football. He's going to be a special talent, and, and uh, it was fun to get him 13 carries tonight.